It's going to be North Dakota versus Iowa. North Dakota is picked fifth. They picked to finish fifth in the Summit League in the preseason poll. Their sophomore forward, B.J. Omut, averaged 12 and 4 last year. He was selected to the preseason All Summit second team. Last year, they were 13 and 20, including 4 11 on the road in the season. On the other side, Iowa predicted to finish ninth in the Big Ten preseason poll. They had no players selected for the all conference team. Last season, they were 19 and 14 overall, including 14 and 3 at home. This line is anywhere between 19 and 20. Uh, as most recently as this morning, I saw it at 20, obviously in Iowa's favor. So which way are we leaning here? Looking at North Dakota, while they were just 13 and 20 last season, North Dakota enjoyed a seven win improvement from the year before. Really looking into their team, you know, they – they have some depth um, advantages here, okay? They finished the season with the most bench points in conference last year, and overall they were 39th when it came to bench points in the entire NCAA. They returned three starters and overall seven key players, including their returning scorer, Amit, and their leading rebounder, Sante Sartizzi, who averaged 10 points and about six rebounds per game. Other key players for them are Trayson Eaglestaff, who averaged over eight a game, and Braden Danielson, who averaged right about eight points per game. I like what they have coming back. Last season, they shot they scored 72 points per game, shot 44% from the field, including 35% from the three-point line. Okay, solid offensive numbers, especially when you look at what they're bringing back. On the other side, looking at Iowa, they just really do not have the star power that they've had in previous years. They're not expected to be in the mix for the Big Ten title. And in my opinion, I would not be surprised if you start seeing their head coach, Fran McCaffrey, starting to lose his cool, starting to get on the hot seat this year. They're going to be led by their senior point, their senior guard, Tony Perkins, who averaged 12 points per game and four rebounds, as well as their junior forward, Peyton Sanford, who averaged 10 and four last year. They also have some freshmen that are pretty highly touted that I expect to get some minutes and uh, be some key pieces for them. Last season, the Hawkeyes scored 80 points per game. They shot 45% from the field and shot 34% from the three-point line. My play here is going to be North Dakota. I like the experience that they have. Iowa should be able to beat North Dakota, but I'm just not very comfortable predicting them to cover the spread here. When you look at North Dakota, they returned several of their top scorers, including the rising sophomore star, Ahmet. They also have good rebounders inside to battle with Iowa's inside presence when you look at the rebounding battle. So I think going on the road is always going to be tough for a low major team. But when you have returning players who are used to playing in tough environments, you have some taller players that can also rebound and hang on the boards. I think this is enough to give North Dakota the cover. That'll be my second play. Give me North Dakota at plus 20 traveling to Iowa.